How you going? Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Brendan and today we're going to be building a dock. Now if you've been following along you will have seen that I built a completely untouchable, invincible, unattackable fortress here is really all I can really call it. It's a completely modular fortress. We've got a blacksmith, a farm behind it and then the keep. Now, as you can see, if something did attack, they can't get to anything, really. They're stuck. It's a invincible, invulnerable base. With a lovely farm that I actually need to uh, collect some things from it as well as a blacksmith section. Arguably, in my opinion, one of the nicest blacksmith, like blacksmithing sections that I've ever, like, you know, that I've, I've seen. I'm sure there's some, there's, there's nicer ones, but you know, this one's my favorite, definitely. Definitely not bias. Now, there's only one last thing that I need to do, and that's put in a, like a spot where my boat can actually safely because if I bring my longship in, it just gets destroyed by the loxes or the goblins, whatever. So I want to build something that actually can house my longship so that it's safe. And then from there, I'm able to sail out, raid goblin villages, get all the metal, bring it back, smelt it and stuff like that. And it's easy to bring the resources in and out. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take up this section right here, which you will have seen at the beginning. Now, as per usual, like I said, if you've seen the other videos of me building this, you'll know what I'm going to be doing. If you haven't, go back and check them out. If you don't want to, ah, it's fine. But basically what I'm going to do is dig out the section that I need, which technically speaking, some of it already has been dug out. But I'll dig out where I need to for this actual build and then level and raise where I need to. So this is going to be like last time where I just, you know, raise one massive platform. It needs to be two different levels because the boat can park at one level and then everything else will be at another level. So this will actually be a bit of a prettier design. I'm going to go for the Grey Havens, you know, inspiration from Lord of the Rings kind of thing. Like that's kind of where I'm pulling the, uh, you know, the inspiration from. So I'll clear everything out, do my digging, do the leveling. And then once that's done, we will start the build. So I'm going to go and do that. And then that's boring. You guys don't want to watch that. So I'll, I'll jump straight ahead to it and then we can start the build. So we've made some pretty good progress. Uh, I've basically got the outline of where the boat will actually park right here. And I'll roof it as well and I'll put in some stairs and stuff like that. I've got the outline of where the wall will go up here done. Which will extend down there to two larger towers than normal. Kind of functioning like, uh, like I'll, 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 I'll put like... Um, like I'll roof it off and stuff like that. It won't be like a defensive tower. It's more like a, almost like two lighthouses, I guess you could say. So they'll be at the very end. So there'll be a walkway along each side and then the sides here will be raised with stairs leading up to it. So I'm going to need to raise all the outside there so that I can have stairs leading up. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But come along. The amount of terraforming I've done on these builds is nuts. But it's coming along. I'm raising this up so it's a little bit closer to that side. And then obviously over there will mirror the same. And then up there will also mirror the same. But more or less. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, but more or less it's, you know, the, the, the dock docking section is done obviously these uh these these iron pillars they'll extend up and uh a roof will go over the actual long boat itself yeah I'll, I'll mirror this side to that side and then we'll have some nice large towers here i'm gonna have to clear out some of that as well uh and then up there will be all terraformed as well so it's you know coming along Coming along nicely. It's not, it's not, it's not too bad. It's less terraforming than what I usually have to do for the other ones. So this is not, not too bad. Any 
to fix this. All right, so status update. I've gone a little uh, crazy. It looks sick. It looks sick. It looks sick. <laughs> this is nuts. Uh, I've just kind of just been plugging along with it. It's good. Um, but yeah, laid down all the platform. Like everything's been leveled down. Raised ground and like, you know, walled it all off and stuff like that. Obviously, this stuff won't be here. But the idea is that, you know, I bring resources in upstairs obviously you know that won't be there so i'll be able to get around it but yeah around there actually i should probably put some stairs there actually that probably would make actually a lot of sense yeah i like that um see so yeah, around there and then i can head up the stairs and then i need to tidy up the actual gates but that one just leads out as is and this one leads over to the blacksmith I need to place one for here that goes into the keep, but yeah, I mean, like this is the idea of it. This is this is the uh, general thought on how it's going to go. There'll still be two larger towers on those sides over there, and all of this will be roofed off. But I mean, it's still it's still everything's still more or less indestructible. I mean, they can't. Nothing will be able to get up, even if it jumps in the water. They can't get up because it's a jump point that they need to go up here uh, and even I can't get it most of the time but there's a jump point that they need to go up there to be able to get up so the base is still untouchable nothing that they can actually do if I get raided so that's still good at least um yeah I'll roof it all up finish off like all the walls and stuff like that and put in the uh the towers and the trim and the palisades and stuff like that and it'd be good but it's like it's getting late i don't want to have another late night like i did with the uh, blacksmith itself so i'm gonna pull it there for tonight uh not the end of the episode but just just the end of it for me uh, and then I'll, I'll i'll finish this off tomorrow so yeah i'll check back in well i mean you guys see me in five seconds but i'll see you guys in a couple of hours all right it is now the next day. So, where we last took off. Finish the stairs. I want to, uh, if I can get over this, finish the actual outside of the walls as well as the towers and all that kind of stuff. So I'll do the towers, uh, set up the bridge across to the actual main keep that will make things a lot easier. And just, you know, generally finish that. I also want to get the towers over there done, do a roof over the boat or the ship, the long ship. Uh, and then finish off a bunch of the trim. So, I mean, realistically, it's not too far off, but I need to get cracking because this is going to be a big one to edit. So, first things first, I will... I'm going to finish the walls first and then do the towers. First things first, that's what I'll do. Alright. Alright, so... Managed to get all the trim, palisades, towers done. I haven't 100% finished the tower because I want to put cauldrons over there, but I want to do it a little bit differently because I kind of want to roof this section. So I might do something a little bit different, but I'll roof the boat and then I'm probably going to roof these towers so that the cauldrons sit in it. I don't have a chimney sitting at the top, but I just want a little bit of a different vibe, different feel, different look compared to the other towers. Mainly because it's kind of like, you know, guiding the... Uh, the boat in but yeah it's coming along pretty good completely useless exit <laughs> but it's there for um you know symmetrical values i guess but we got the bridges bridges are in place i still need to trim up the outside like you know make that look a little bit prettier put some banners everywhere i'm gonna go for white i think white will look good Especially considering I'm getting the inspiration from the white, uh, Grey Haven, sorry, from Wuthering, so, I don't know. White, white feels like it makes sense, very elven, but, yeah, I'm pretty good. Pretty sure I won't die. Oh, good. It was good. Obviously, these will be cleared out, but, yeah, it's nice. The boat fits in perfectly, too. Alright, I'm going to do the roof. 
Uh, and then I'll do the towers. And then after that, I'm going to do a little bit of the... Like before with the blacksmith, like, you know, trim up some of the edges and make it all look nice and pretty and all that kind of stuff. And then it's pretty much done. Uh, we're on the home stretch now, so it's pretty close to being finished, but... It's a crazy build. I need to try and raise, like... I don't know, I need to try and build something as high as I possibly can so I can see what it looks like from the top down, because... I feel like it's going to look crazy from high above. I don't know if I'll be able to see it from the mountain top. I don't know. I think it's something so I can see it from the very, very, very top, but come along pretty good. Oh, this is satisfying. Sorry. But this, this framing is really satisfying. Like that roof. Oh. Sorry, it's just... OCD is just kicking in. Oh, that's like the easy. This is like the easiest way to do a roof, by the way. If you can frame it out before actually placing down what it is that you need to place down, just makes the actual build so much easier. And as I mentioned, it looks so satisfying. I need to stop looking at it. Oh, that is incredibly satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. That's a nice roof. Oh. There's a seagull sitting on my roof. This is a serious... Oh my god, this is... Alright, cool. This is really cool. Alright, anyway. If I keep staring at it, I'm going to get distracted and never finish it. I'm going to finish the towers. Do up all the trim. Flags. Done. So close. Alright, now what I'm thinking I'm going to do with the flower... Uh, not flowers. Towers. Is... Oops. All right, there we go. You got the frame. Basically, what I'm thinking is I'm going to put a what are they called again? Brazier, standing brazier, like right in the center, like they are in the other ones, but this one's just like a differently designed tower. So. Make it look a little bit nicer. Oh, you know what else I could do? Okay. And then... Uh, uh, oh, actually. Oh, that's fine. And for these ones... There we go. That'll be the towel. I just need to roof it off, and then I can put the brazier down. Nice. How does it look from the outside? Yeah, it looks good. All right. Now, oh, do I want to do it that way, maybe? 
Nah, I'll do that. Symmetry. Symmetry's a vibe. Nice. Yeah, nice. All right, I'll do the same on that one and then put down the brazier. And I may as well put down the brazier's, blah, 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 brazier's of the other ones. Um, but yeah, that looks cool. I like that. Yeah, I have a problem. It's not. Oh, God. Building all this, so like, solo. I have a serious problem. <laughs> oh, God. What am I going to do when I finish this game? I'm going to find an. I'm going to have to find a new one. Maybe in Shrouded. I don't know. Let me know what you reckon I should play next. All right. I'm going to mimic what I just did and build the same thing on that tower there. I might add some, like, I oh, know I'll save the trim for like for later. I'll just do the towers for now. All right. What is that locks doing? All right. Yeah, that looks good. All right, I got my cauldrons in place. Uh, next I'll do is just trim up the outside of everything. So like, you know, the flags and like the textures to the uh, outside of the walls and stuff like that. And then do the dark wood on the inside and we're good to go. I look good. Like it's looking real good. I'm really happy with this. Okay, I'll admit, I may have gone a little bit overboard with the banners. Because it's not just the inside, the outside as well. Anyway, um, it's looking pretty cool now. The, I think the white banners add like a really good touch, especially with this roof. Yeah, yeah, it's looking cool. All right, I'm going to go do some dark wood trim. So that'll really like... If I'm all honest, like, like, can't English. If I'm honest, that will elevate this build massively. So it's going to tr completely transform it. So I'll show you what I mean. Oh my God. I am done. So I kind of did a thing because I was curious about like, you know, what this whole build looks like from up high. I couldn't really think of a way to do it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to make my tower a little bit taller. And uh, yeah. So I have a lot of stairs to go up. So I'm going to climb that. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. Hopefully, I won't fall to my death. Or get snarked by a Deskito. It's going to take a while. Are you serious? I'm trying to record my outro here. Ah, it's fine. Whatever. All right. It was a long, it was a long climb and I have a raid happening, but I'm not going to let that stop me. The locks in the goblin will defend me. Uh, check out the build. This is ridiculous. This is such a massive build, man. <laughs> that's crazy seriously if you if you guys haven't joined the discord i want to see like your your, your guys builds because this is this is nuts if anyone has done anything that's crazier than this i'll be seriously impressed but this is yeah it's just a mental build anyway let me show you the inside oh i didn't think that out very well Well, I don't think you can get me, so it's fine. Yeah, it's stuck. It's fine. Anyway. All right. I don't know what I'm doing here. 
Anyway, let me show you the build. Boom. There you go. So before where I was talking about, you know, making some dark wood changes, this is what it looks like. Blob, do you mind? Sky, man. All right. Check it out. This is one epic build. Oh, yeah, it's just the towel. This is some like end game build kind of thing, you know? And I'm not even at the end game. I still need to beat the Plains boss, the Mistlands boss, and the Ashlands boss. But I mean, now that it's done. The planes boss is like done and dust. I just, I just gotta raid some goblins and just, you know, make the gear. But this is crazy. This is crazy cool. It has come along really, really nice. But that's the build done. I'm gonna check it out from the top of the cape. There you go. All done. And you can see the long boat down there too as well. I've got to call it there. I think it's the end of the planes builds. I'm going to progress the story. I'm going to be taking out some goblins next time. Just literally declare war on everything in the planes. Uh, as well as some loxes and stuff like that. Because I think I need them for the cape. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to raid the hell out of some goblin villages. And then after that, we're taking on the planes boss. Now, if you enjoyed this video you haven't already, you know, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, helps with the algorithm gods. Drop a comment if you want, but come join the Discord, come hang out, share some photos with some other people that are also in the group about some of your builds in the game, or even maybe when I finish Valheim, some recommendations on what I should be playing next. Anyway, if you're still watching, thank you very much for hanging around to the end. I think this is going to be a bit of a longer video because it ended up being a lot bigger than I thought, but either way, thank you for hanging around to the end. And I will catch you in the next one. See you later.